Hello Pinoys! Welcome to the very first episode of Pinoys Podcast. This is Carl Vargas. And this is Luis Orillo. And as for today, we will be talking about models. So, have you ever wondered what models are? Or do you have an idea on what it is? Well, before we get more in deep of our topic, wherever you are listening from right now, we pray that you are safe and doing well. So, model verbs, they are a type of auxiliary verb which shows possibility, intent, ability, or necessity. They are used together with the main verb of the sentence. Now, model verbs, they give additional information about the function of the main verb that follows it. And it has a great variety of communicative functions, meaning it is quite common in English. And the most frequent model verbs used are can, may, might, could, should, would, will, and must. So, when can we use model verbs? Well, we can use model verbs in lots of situations, and I will explain it further. So, in likelihood, we can use model verbs should and must to show probability without certainty. In possibility, when something is possible but not certain, we can use the model verbs might, could, or may. In ability, the model verb can can be used when you are able to do an action or a decision and model verb can't if you are unable to do the action or decision if you're going to ask for permission you can start the question with the model verbs can may or could if you are going to request for something you can use the model verbs will would can or could if you are going to give a suggestion or maybe an advice you can use the model verbs should if you're going to um, give a command, you can use the model verbs must, have, to, or need to. If you are going to express maybe um, a necessary action, such as an obligation, a duty, or a requirement, you can use the model verbs must, have to, or need to. And lastly, if you are going to show an ongoing or habitual action, you can use the model verbs would and will and you can also use used to if you are talking about a habit that no longer exists. And how we can use model verbs? So using model verbs is a sentence is actually pretty simple. So for like basic sentence to the s- simple present tense. All we have to do is just to remember these rules. But first, what is the infinitive form of the main verb? The infinitive form of a verb is the verb in its basic form, meaning it is the version of the verb that you will see in the dictionary. The infinitive form of a verb is usually preceded by two. Example. To run, to dance, to eat, to think. The infinitive form is not always preceded by two. Now, model verbs usually use come directly before the main verb, except for questions with models model verbs. You should use the infinitive form of the main verb without two. So, if you want to talk about your ability to eat an entire pizza you take the infinitive form eat without two which which is simply eat and add the model verb can in front of it the rest of the sentence should continues uh, continues as normal so for example I can eat an entire pizza so for questions you still use the uh, you still use the infinitive form of the main verb but the order is a little different it would be the model verbs then the subject 
than the main verb so let's replace the example of example I gave can you eat an entire pizza so because model verbs largely deal with general situation or hypothetical that haven't actually happened most of them are in the present tense however some of them can be used in the different ver verb tense and I'll give one more example so as for the present tense it was the one we've already talked about earlier now let's talk about a simple past compared to the present tense only can and will can be used in the simple past have to and need to can also be used as long as they're conjugated accordingly as had to and needed to can and will use their past past tense form plus the infinitive form of the main verb without to just like in the sent just like in the present tense so it would be could or would plus the verb in infinitive now if you are to use this in a sentence it will be like this so I would always go to the library to read books and as you can see here on the example uh, we use the past tense of will plus the infinitive form of the main verb without do so our topic ends here uh, we would like to thank you guys as our listeners for listening until the end hopefully you have learned something from the discussion we've had done today we invite you guys to wait for our second episode in which we'll, we will be talking about something different thank you guys have you have a good night or day sleep sleep well and stay safe see you next time see you next time be nice peace out <laughs>